Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Well, welcome back everyone to another Monster Mosey review video. Today we are taking a look at something a little different from the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks line. It's actually something I've been very excited to find in stores. And I finally found them at a Walmart when I was out for a wedding for actually one of my good friends in the Monster Truck community, Michael, uh, who got married. So I actually found these at the Walmart uh, close to his house. And I was lucky enough to find all four, although there was a bunch of them. Um, I still have not seen it in my area, so I consider that a little bit of a lucky find. But these are the brand new die-cast crush cars. And the only reason I bought these duplicates is because that's the only way to get these crush cars. Um, they are free, as it says, includes free new die-cast crush car. They're actually the same price as a normal uh, Hot Wheels Monster Truck, which is $3.88. Of course, that depends on where you live. But in my area, in my state, uh, usually the price at Walmart is $3.88. So you guys can see we do have uh, four different trucks. We have V8 Bomber, we have Tiger Shark, Mega Rex, and Demo Derby. And before we get into the crush car trucks, or cars actually I should say, with their trucks, um, I want to cover a couple of the duo packs that actually came out in this uh, series assortment with their own miniature cars. And the first one is this Roger Dodger, which I believe is exclusive to this uh, duo pack, which has this orange paint scheme with the black decals, which is actually pretty cool. Um, probably my favorite Roger Dodger so far. You can see it has a blue windshield and a blue roll cage, chrome rims. And then of course, like I mentioned, it comes with a duo uh, pack miniature car to match it exactly the same way, same paint scheme, same windshield, uh, same uh, base color, and then the chrome rims. So that's pretty cool that they came back with the duo packs. These were a thing back in 2010. I'll put one on screen. You can see Gravedigger back in the Hot Wheels Moss Jam era. They did do these duo packs and now they're doing them again with their Hot Wheels cars this time to match their Hot Wheels Monster Trucks casting. So Roger Dodger has this miniature and then they also made Twin Mill with an exclusive paint scheme that I'm assuming is only going to be in the duo packs uh, with the red uh, car here, the red Twin Mill to match the same paint scheme as the truck has. And it does have a windshield. The actual 164 scale Twin Mill does not have a windshield for the Moss Trucks. Uh, fun fact, so they just printed in a blue um, windshield decal. But here's this nice metal flake red paint scheme. I love the paint color. And for Hot Wheels, I've always mentioned this and I will continue to do so. They have the best paint colors and best paint uh, types like metal flake and stuff. So they did a great job with that paint color. And there's the twin mill monster truck. You can see the rims and the beadlocks match each other and then the base colors as well. So there's the twin mill. I think it's exclusive. Same with Roger Dodger. I'm not sure. And then I want to give a shout out to Michael Keller who gave me this one for free. Uh, this is uh, the bone shaker from the duo pack. And I didn't want to get this one because I've already had a uh, bone shaker. Obviously this one's been released many times in the past, but this one's not exclusive. It's just another repeat uh, with this classic bone shaker, the one they use in Hot Wheels Moss Trucks Live. And then it comes with a miniature bone shaker to match that truck with the red beadlocks printed on there and then we have the base color red to match the roll cage so there's bone shaker again thank you michael for giving me this as a gift and there is the bone shaker so you can see here here's the mega rex i already have this one i'll show you a quick little look at it but not really the showcase of the video uh, you can see each tr uh, car here in their truck obviously uh, the cars themselves though have their own names as you can see, the actual description of the car itself is a crushed sedan, but the name for this one is Sudden Stop. And for the Demo Derby one, it's a crushed coupe. And the Speed Bump, uh, the name is Speed Bump, I should say. And then for the Tiger Shark, it's a crushed wagon, and it's called Flat Iron. And then my favorite of the castings, the crushed van, is called Blindsided. And that one comes with V8 Bomber. So let's check out the brand new, I just missed the name. There it is, Sudden Stop. The brand new Sudden Stop diecast car and its Mega Rex counterpart. Here we go. So here it is, the Mega Rex. And I'm actually re-recording these parts of the videos, the unbox portions, because um, my camera actually got messed up at the recording parts of the actual unboxing. So here is the Crush Sedan, the Sudden Stop Hot Wheels car, uh, crushed car. And this is the Mega Rex. We'll just take a quick look at it. It is the robot Mega Rex with the chrome paint scheme, the blue tires, gray rims, and the yellow roll cage. So there is that real quick. And then we have the Sudden Stop Hot Wheels car. 
Uh, like I mentioned, these are die cast metal. This is the first time we're ever receiving die cast metal crush cars. Uh, we have received two types of crush cars, plus a couple plastic playset crush cars in the past. These two are functional ones, however. These were from Hot Wheels Moss Jam in 2018. These are called the recrushable cars. They are rubber. They're my favorite crush car up to this point until this die cast came out uh, because they are actually really useful for racing events. We also have, this is the second time we're getting these. This is, I believe, this year's accessory as well, the uh, crushable car. Uh, accessory and it's one that just kind of snaps together uh, so these are not my favorite crush cars but I got to say for displays for the actual sake of being a crush car these are the best they've given us so far and I'm just super super amped up for these to continue to be released so here is the yellow sudden stop hot wheels car as you can see they did an amazing job making a fake but realistic looking um, crush car with the metal obviously dented broken even the headlights are broken in the grill um, and you can also see since the monster trucks crush from the top the car usually bends upward towards the sky So you can see they actually got that feature here on the bumper and the back fender bending upwards The bumper is also bent down. That's really cool. Uh, there's the interior. There's the back seat um, You can see some detail here and uh, That's just awesome. So these also by the way function on Hot Wheels car tracks So if you guys have Hot Wheels car tracks, I don't but if you guys do, these will work. These are actually functioning. Uh, Brendan Vitusky, the designer of these cars, or one of the designers of the cars for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks as well, uh, said these work on Hot Wheels tracks. I'm sure they do. They are awesome looking. So you can see here's the yellow one. This is fully painted yellow because crush cars, of course, are painted a single color. And that is awesome. So there is Sudden Stop. And next up is the... Uh, flat iron, I believe, yeah, flat iron with Tiger Shark. So let's unbox that one. And here is Tiger Shark and Flat Iron. And I may have mentioned in the beginning of the video, I can't remember because uh, I'm re-recording this part, if I said that the blindsided van is my favorite, but this definitely is my favorite of the set that we have of these four. Flat Iron is awesome. But real quick, let's take a look at Tiger Shark. This is the same release that we've had in the past many times before. Of course, Tiger Shark is one of six that run in the real life tour on the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live circuit. So there's Tiger Shark and here is its crush car uh, counterpart the flat iron this is the crushed wagon and another fun fact that was told uh, to viewers of one of the videos I can't remember which convention video it was um, but Brendan Vitusky the designer I mentioned earlier actually gave us a fun fact about this crushed car uh, this top plate here or the roof and this front here the hood uh, were actually 3d scans of a crushed soda can uh, so you can see these fine little detailed folds of the roof here were actually uh, a 3d scanned uh, soda can that they actually put together onto the crush car. That's a really really cool feature and fun fact about this car uh, But the actual realistic folding of the metal is immaculate So I'm very happy with the flat iron the way the windows were crushed in uh, the doors popping out the back bumper Even the license plate holder is also bent and then we have this side with this, um, similar but different details some scratching on the door and then the front headlights actually offset a little bit with the grill so this whole car here is just awesome. I also love the color, light blue. Um, and I just, I can't believe that they did a 3D scan of a soda can and it worked onto a crushed car like this. But the, the way the metal folded is perfect. I mean, you can see the fine details, just amazing. So there is the flat iron, definitely my favorite of this set of four crushed cars we have currently. So that is awesome. The crushed coupe here with Demo Derby, which is called uh, Speed Bump. So let's get that one out. So here is the Speed Bump Hot Wheels car and the Demo Derby. Obviously, Demo Derby is one of those six trucks I mentioned earlier on the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Tour. And Demo Derby is actually my favorite uh, or one of my favorite Hot Wheels Monster Trucks that they've made so far for their new series. I love the tire printing. I love the front wheels and the color scheme for Demo Derby. Uh, this has been my favorite since they first announced their actual tour. The only complaint I have is that it's being re-released without the grill printing that the real life truck uses. Uh, at some point they have to add that on there because it's a realistic quality, but there is Demo Derby. It's the same one we've received in the past, but it is now featuring this new crush car, which is called Speed Bump, another really cool casting. Actually my favorite of the color schemes. I love the orange. If flat iron was orange, it would have been perfect. But, I mean, it is perfect, but it would still be a little more perfect than it is. Here is the speed bump, as you can see right there, labeled on the bottom. And this is the crushed coupe car. So, as you can see, the front grille is severely damaged. We have the hood here bent inward. We have the fenders kind of popping out here. Uh, the side, the door is crushed in, or at least the window frame is crushed inward. Um, and then we have the side 
with the back completely crushed in. I love that they kept the detail of how it's been crushed. So the license plate obviously gets crushed down by this tailgate or the um, trunk being crushed here. And the roof actually has a really cool feature. It looks sharp, but it's actually a false sharp edge. It's not sharp at all, but it looks like a real life um, crushed car wood where it would kind of become sharp at the point up here. And then the interior is still in there with the plastic and then this side with the driver's side door being crushed in. Uh, it's just an awesome color, awesome car, and a great display piece for Demo Derby. So there is the Crushed Coupe, the Speed Bump. So let's unbox this one. This one's called Blindsided. And this is the Crushed Van. And here is the last one of the review, the V8 Bomber with the Blindsided Van. As I mentioned earlier, this was my favorite until I saw the flat iron, but it's still a really awesome casting. Uh, they did a great job creating a van-like crush car. Obviously, vans are the ones that are getting crushed from the top, not really all over the place, but just at the top uh, is usually where they crush them, especially in their Hot Wheels Monster Trucks Live Tour. So you'll typically see them kind of just come up and on top of them. Not much damage on the sides, uh, so they actually captured that detail properly. Uh, the roof is smashed in. There's not a lot of damage going inward. It's kind of a, just a soft landing. Um, the doors are bent outward, and then the side doors are also kind of, kind of as if it was hit like this, but not super damaged. And the front grille is a little bit damaged, but not a ton. And the hood is kind of left undone as well. Sometimes you'll see them hit the front of the car if they're doing racing. That's probably where this damage came from. So they did a really good job creating the realistic qualities of a van crush car as well. So there is blindsided, as it's called. Um, obviously referencing blind spots in cars. And then we have the roof here. Uh, just awesome details. So there is blindsided. And now also I'll mention quickly V8 Bomber. One of my favorite trucks, another one of my favorite trucks of the Real Life Tour, and also the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks uh, series in general. This is an awesome casting, awesome truck. I love the theme, I love the colors. So there is a V8 Bomber, and that will conclude this review of the Hot Wheels Monster Trucks and their Crush Card Duo Packs uh, counterparts. These are just some of the most awesome things Hot Wheels has come up with, and it's funny enough that they're actually not even monster trucks, it's just their typical uh, Hot Wheels. What they do, obviously, is make cars, so uh, they kind of went back to their main roots and made some awesome stuff with what they usually would be doing. So this is really cool. Every single one has its own features that stand out, uh, but my favorite is definitely the flat iron with that 3D scanned roof of a soda can. Just a really awesome car. And props to the Mattel design team for the idea. Obviously this has been something people have been asking for for years now, and it's nice to finally have them execute this idea and put it to use in this new series. So hopefully we'll see more in the future, maybe even an RV or something. Uh, until next time, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about these cars and the trucks in the comments below. And until then, this is Random Monster Moose CD, signing out.